Hello! Welcome to the Stem Cell Bioengineering Lab here in the School of Biomedical Engineering at the University of British Columbia, where students are trained in the fundamentals of both biology and engineering. In the Stem Cell Bioengineering Lab, we are fundamentally interested in how cells make decisions with a focus on learning how to generate functional tissues to target applications of engineering, medicine, and basic life sciences. To study this, we use stem cells as a model system. Stem cells are a very special type of cell with the capacity to self-renew and become any cell type in our body. We are especially interested in how these cells self-organize into complex spatial structures that will build tissues and organs. In stem cell engineering, we want to learn about how to control cell behavior for therapeutic applications. We do this using two different approaches. The first one uses synthetic biology tools to genetically engineer cells to perform a specific function. The second approach is what we call niche engineering, where we control the cell environment so that we make the cells follow specific developmental trajectories for a certain goal. Our goal is to translate our findings to medical applications for regenerative medicine, cell therapy, and tissue engineering. Please now follow me to continue with our tour. This is our main office space where we do most of our computational work. Here, we'll move into our main lab space, where independent benches support different areas of research. This is the SynBio bench, where we perform our genetic engineering work. We clone DNA constructs using E. coli bacteria. Look, our 3D printer is working on a piece for a new design. Other pieces of equipment here are a liquid handler, a plate reader, and an in-house autoclave. Let's move on now to our microfabrication bench. Here, we prepare part of our niche engineering work by designing and developing substrates where cells will sit in a controlled way. Here we use a plasma cleaner, a spin coater for glass passivation, and deep UV to create patterns for cells to grow on in different shapes and sizes. But if you really want to see our micro patterns, we need to look at them through a fluorescence microscope. Here we see some colonies of stem cells, which are organizing spatially and acquiring different fates depending on their position within the micro pattern geometry. We also use a cytoflex to analyze suspension cells based on their cell surface markers. Let's move to the cell culture room. This is where the magic happens. Here, we have biosafety cabinets, regular cell incubators, and hypoxia incubators. Do you want to see some live cells? Come with me. We have them here in this incubator. Let's take them to the light microscope. Stem cells here are growing in a 2D plate until they are ready for experiments. Let me now show you where cells can grow in a 3D environment so that we can scale up their production to engineer clinically relevant cells in a large scale. These are bioreactors with which we can control the cell's environment using fed batch systems. This is also an automated and high throughput way to grow cells. In our lab's research cycle, our experimental results then feed back to our computational work, which is then optimized to provide new and more accurate predictions. We hope you enjoyed this visit to the Stem Cell Bioengineering Lab. If you have any questions or want to learn more about our lab, please visit www.stemcellbioengineering.ca.